Shalom, Shalom, Israel, coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing, this is edifying. First off, giving all praise, honors, and glories to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and all the teachers out there pushing this word in truth, with truth and sincerity, especially not risk your lives to do so. May you be of the elect. Shalom to all the Akim and Aqua out there listening and learning. You Israelites, so-called Negroes, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians, who are the true children of Israel, as well as you speckled bird, right? Israelite foreigners that look like, act like, and take on the customs of all these heathen nations. All right, so to you I say Shalom. This lesson is brought to you by the Spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the true name of our Father, the God of the Bible, the God of the Israelites. By Hashem meaning coming in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the only begotten Son of Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls by the name of J.C. All right, and this lesson is brought to you in part by this article. All right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna name this this article. Uh, Riches got by deceit, following Esau to be wicked. All right, and as you can see by the title, all right, Black Lives Matter used donations to buy a six million dollar Southern California home. Reported. All right, this was April fourth of this year alright and the article goes on to say Black Lives Matter bought a swanky South Southern California home for nearly six million dollars using donation cash according to a report Monday three leaders of the social justice movement Patrice Cullors, Alicia Garza and Melina Abdullah recorded a video last June outside the secretly bought home while uh, marking the first anniversary of George Floyd's murder, right? So they profited off of that. New York Magazine reported. Colors at the time said she was weeks removed from being in survival mode after the post exclusive reporting. The post exclusive reporting in April revealed her purchase of four high end U.S. homes for $3.2 million. Look at these carpet munchers they threw, man. All right. It says, uh, it's because we're powerful, because we are winning, Color said of what she characterized as right-wing media attacks. It's because we are threatening the establishment. We're threatening white supremacy. But Colors and her colleagues didn't reveal any details on this upscale home seen behind them in the video, a 6,500 square foot spread with more than six bedrooms and bathrooms, fireplaces, a pool, and parking for more than 20 cars, according to a real estate listing cited by the magazine. The property was purchased in October of 2020 with funds that had been donated to the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation, according to the explosive report. Look at this broken down Israelite woman. <laughs> Through. So anyways, the point of the matter is this broad... And her cronies bought a six million dollar home off of the money they that they basically profited off of from George George Floyd's murder. All right. <coughs> from um, you know, his his death. All right. So they started this movement, this black movement, right, and profited off of it. All right. Got everybody drunk in their wine. Of this foolishness, man. All right, so let's just get into some scriptures. All right, because this broad is, <laughs> and the rest of her cronies, they threw, man. All right, so first off the bat, First Timothy six and nine, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Why? Verse ten. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. All right. So this broad and her cronies thought, oh, let's let's go ahead and profit off uh, of the hurt of these people and buy ourselves a six million dollar uh, uh, mansion off of that money. Let's profit off of their sorrow. All right. And, and with that, they are they what? Their spirit gave in to what? Mammon. Money. Alright? Matthew 6 and 24 says you can't serve God and mammon, man. 
You can't serve the Lord and and, and, and make your, your ways in, through this world by dealing in money. Now, granted, you have to have money to get by to do things. That's what the scripture says. Give us this day our daily bread. You just you should have enough money to eat, uh, pay your bills, and keep it moving. That's it. But here these winches are profiting off of people when they sorrow, all right, to go buy themselves a $6 million uh, mansion off of donation money, all right, and, and thinking that shit was going to be smooth, that they was just going to uh, 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 be a, uh, uh, like a Michael Jackson song, a smooth criminal and get away with it. You know what I'm saying? This is uh, Proverbs 20 and 17. Get just getting straight to the point. Bread of deceit is sweet to a man, but afterwards his mouth, his mouth shall be filled with gravel. All right, you gonna you gonna eat everything that you thought was was that you was doing right in your eyes. All right, deceiving people, you gonna you gonna eat all that shit later, and it ain't gonna be good. All right, e everything that you you gonna eat afterwards is gonna be foul decay. All right. It, it, you're just gonna you're just gonna eat though eat your words as it were, all right. It's not gonna be good for you. So it, it behooves uh those to to do well by others. All right, speak ye the truth to every man. All right, you you should be damn near uh, transparent. When you speak to somebody, you should let them. Well, depending on who you speak it to, I mean, you definitely want to always be honest. But there's a way to, to, to be honest without having to lie. All right. You can you can tell them truth without giving them a, every little bit of detail. I guess you can put it that way. All right. This is. Uh, let's go to Mark. This is Mark 7. And 21 again going straight to the point because I can be long winded. And then this is red letter. How should I speak it? Mark seven twenty one. And it reads, "For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lavishness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. In this case, these broads." They are already wicked to begin with. All right, women should not lie with women, at, at, uh, as with mankind. All right, and that's what they do. That's how they roll. All right, they also uh, worship and praise Esau, even though they say, you know, they they trying to go up against quote unquote the man, to go against quote unquote white supremacy. They 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 roll side by side, man. They roll in side by side. All right. We see we see what's happening right now in the office. Even the serpent together again, alas, ain't nothing changed, man. All right, these devils just got on different skins, but they're all of the same the same cloth. They're, they're all evil. Okay, they're all evil. Um, let's backtrack. This is Mark four, and going straight to the point. Red letter Yahweh Shai speaking. Verse 19. And the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things entering in choke the word and it becometh unfruitful. Just like this bro. She thought she was going to get away with the shit. Now her shit is unfruitful. You got She got a lot of people knocking on her door now. We're talking about what's up with this. This, mo this money was out of donation. All right, profiting they 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 profited off of other people's emotions. All right, and 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 ultimately what? They were dealing in the cares of this world. They want to try to get a big ass house, cause clearly they have made this place their rest. They don't give a shit about the kingdom. They don't give a shit about the Lord. All right, they don't give a shit about Yahweh Shai, the prophets. Okay, so yeah. They they they're dealing with with their, their their wealth now, and their wealth is coming to be mire. All right, the Lord is is bringing that out to them. Y'all don't y'all don't want to get right. Y'all don't want to deal in, with the Lord. 
all right good to go good to go devil dog <laughs> one of my uh instructors in the marine corps used to say good to go devil dog <laughs> you know but uh yeah that's that's what's coming man or should i say that's what they got that's what they got now trying to trying to uh color gold uh, shit into gold and that gold got rubbed off now they dealing with back in shit all right first john two uh let's go start at verse 15 Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Okay, like these dumb broads. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And clearly it's not in them anyway. Because they, they're dealing in all kinds of uh, wickedness that the Lord hates. Okay. Verse 16. For, for all that are in the world. So like it. For all that is in the world. The lust of the flesh. And the lust of the eyes. And the pride. Pride. Pride, ain't these ain't these bras dealing in that pride, that pride movement as well? And the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. Well, these bras don't deal in that. They're dealing with the ways of the world. Alright? Not understanding that, like verse 17 said, this world is going to pass away. And the lust thereof. All the wickedness that's done in, in, in the earth is going to be done away with. But, you know, they thought they could uh, profit off that and live off of that and keep on going with it. All right. Not knowing that the Lord's word will stand forever. Okay. Will abide forever. You know. They, they didn't think about that. None at all. Because the, the love of the Father is not in them. The Father ain't dealing with them, man. Let's go to the book of the law. This is Leviticus. Uh, chapter 20. And I'm going to start at 22. Ye shall therefore keep all my statutes and all my judgments and do them. That the land, whither I bring you to dwell therein, spew you not out. And ye shall not walk in the manners of the nation... Which I cast out before you, for they committed all these things, and therefore I abhorred them. But what do these bras do? Learn the ways of the heathen, following the ways of Esau, deceiving, being deceived. Because Esau gave him this pedestal, all right, thinking that, uh, you know, oh, he's doing, he's doing well by us. Look at this platform that we have now. Oh, we about to bank on this. Deceiving others, and therefore they were also being what deceived. Okay, trying to learn from Esau. We're gonna get this money, we're gonna get this bag, we're gonna get this secure this big ass house. And look at this shit came crumbling down right in their lap, profiting off the, the, the woes and sorrows of others. You, wicked, you wicked ass broads deserve what you got and gonna keep getting. And anybody else that follows suit with y'all. Okay? Riches got by deceit. Following Esau. To be wicked. That's what it is man. The book of Leviticus told you that. So let this be a lesson. To all y'all that think chasing the bag is where it's at. It's not. You cannot serve the most high. And you cannot serve mammon. You cannot be uh, going after money. And, and try to go after the Lord. You either gonna do one or the other. Ain't no wavering shit, man. Choose ye this day. Who you gonna serve, the Lord, or you gonna keep serving for that bag? You saw what happened to this dumb bitch. She threw, man. She threw. And anybody else that follows suit with it. Lord willing, this is edifying. Give it all praise, honors, and glories to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachachadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and all the teachers out there pushing this word in truth with truth and sincerity, especially now risk your lives to do so. May you be the elect. Y'all better stay prayed up and repent. Baba ball. Shalom.